It's time for Breaking It Down with Brittany, where I take different weather terms and events and help you understand the science behind what is going on. So have you ever heard of a microburst? That happens in a normal thunderstorm. So even severe thunderstorm warnings you need to take just as serious as potentially a tornado warning. And I'm going to explain to you why. So this can happen for many different reasons. You can get dry air that starts to make its way into a thunderstorm. If this happens, you start to get evaporative cooling. That is taking all of the moisture, the rain, the hail. It's starting to cool it, making it denser. And because it's more dense, it is going to get heavy and it is going to fall out of that thunderstorm all at the same time because the updraft now is no longer strong enough to keep that hail and the rain and everything up high and it all falls out at the same exact time. It hits the ground, it spreads out and it does a lot of damage as much as an EF1 tornado could do with winds of 100 to 150 miles per hour. Now this is just in a small little area of about two miles in a radius. This isn't a tornado that would continue to track on and keep hitting more and more towns, but this can happen. It happens very quickly and it is severe with a lot of damage as well. So I hope you learned something today. Make sure you take those severe thunderstorm warnings just as serious as a tornado warning. And that's it for Breaking It Down with Brittany.